By decree of the Kaiser, the Germania was henceforth ordered to hunt convoys in the Atlantic. Ernst was faced with a grim choice. Torpedo the Pocahontas and kill his friend, or disobey a superior's direct order and risk being put to death. He had chosen to save his friend, but knew it would only be a matter of time before he was ordered to kill again. Nineteen seventeen, Saint Manihold Hospital. Doctors and nurses alike tried in earnest to patch up swarms of broken bodies and wounded psyches. Anna, the Belgian nurse, battled every day against the war to save soldiers. Sometimes Anna could heal the soldiers' ailments and put them on the path to recovery. Other times, it was a matter of alleviating their pain and merely postponing the inevitable. On this day, a rare ray of hope pierced the gloom of the hospital grounds. Finally, with the arrival of new medical equipment, technological progress would be used to help the wounded of war instead of producing them. Surprised to see her dear friend again, Anna handled each of the wounded soldiers with care. She couldn't wait to speak with Freddy and catch up on old times. Allez, 
Reunited, Anna and Freddy both took solace in the bonds of friendship. Hearing the bombs fall, Anna knew they had struck the heart of a populated civilian area. Always quick to act, she drove off to help the wounded. Ha! <laughs> 
Vas-y, Walt. Walt Allez, va, Walt.
Seeing a Zeppelin creep toward the bomb factory, Freddy feared the worst for Anna. He hopped on his motorbike and raced to join him. Freddy arrived just in time to see Anna emerging from the debris. She had once again put her life on the line to save others. December 27th, 1917. The Pocahontas arrived in Brest, France, to a celebratory welcome. Unknown to the old 15th, the decision had already been made to use them only for combat service support. They were not to see battle. Desperate for soldiers to fight, the French pushed hard for the newly arrived 15th to join them on the battlefield. They were eventually successful. The old 15th would fight under the French banner and be renamed the 369th Infantry Regiment. The Americans were once again outfitted as soldiers should be, then paired up with a French counterpart. They would now all fight together. 